a nice warm day. We're outside. I'm gonna drink a little Vino Verde. Welcome back to Drinking It In. I am your host, Chris Cassara. We are here to help you know more and drink better. And we're out on the deck today. It's glorious. This Memorial Day weekend has been fantastic. Um, and what better time to do uh, to do a cleanse so I can't drink any wine. So um, we're coming off of the cleanse and what we're gonna try today is a Vino Verde, which is a white wine from Portugal. It's not made from the Vino Verde grape. It is not made from a blend. Well, it could be a blend, but it, um, ooh, ooh, look at that. You see the bubbles? That's always fun. This is like adult soda pop. Um, Vino Verde is a region in Portugal and um, Wow, look at that. I've never seen such fizz in um, in one of these bottles, but uh, they are, I don't know whether they're doing it through natural measures, but it certainly makes the white wine fun. Portugal, Vino Verde, extremely reasonable. As a matter of fact, I saw one, I think, I think it was a Vino Verde at Trader Joe's for like $3.99. We bought a bottle because we were like, okay, well, how could that, I mean, even if, even if it's terrible, $3.99, but it was really good. This one was a little more expensive, but still maybe nine bucks. Um, these wines are perfect for the summer, right? Perfect for a uh, any sort of seafood. And I think, you know, the more that we, um, you know, everybody's stuck on Sauvignon Blanc and stuff like this. Vino Verde is a really good alternative. Real high acid, just beautiful stuff. This one actually has an Albarino vibe, um, which is even possible there might be some Alvarino in this uh, in this blend. This doesn't uh, doesn't tell me the the grapes that are involved, but Alvarino, Larero, and, and some others are native to Portugal, and it's just um, you know it really it demands your attention when you have. Well, let's taste this and see what it is. So right now. So I'm getting nice, uh, the tart citrus. I can sense the acidity. It's a little bit of stone, a little stony, uh, wet stone. Really nice. And that extra little bit of frizzante is kind of nice. Um, so this one's really clean comes off like a mix of, of citrus. I can almost say that it's more limey than anything else, but it's definitely a, a bit of a, mi a melange of citrus. It's really light, effortless on your palate. It's, it has a longer finish than I would have thought from such a, um, a light wine. Really good. I mean, I would encourage you when it's look on number one it's this green bottle pretty um i guess uh, recognizable green slender bottle here's the vino verde uh logo if you will that indicates the wine is from that region and this particular wine which we uh, totally forgot to um to even announce right it is uh i'm not seeing uh, it's got to be a Am I just blind? I would think there was a vintage, maybe not. No, I'm not seeing a vintage. But this is the Santola Vino Verde uh, white wine. That's gonna be ready for you. If you see the, see the little crab on the label, you should grab a few bottles of this because you will be, uh, you'll be happy. Um, and thank me for it later. Hope you had a uh, great Memorial Day weekend. I hope you are enjoying um, what hopefully will be a nice nice week of weather at least in the in the northeast i'll see you guys soon cheers